All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another 6 p.m. epi slash Persona RTG slash Croix to Glory slash PMRTG epi. Uh, had a great day off yesterday and apparently quite a few good things happened since my day off. So got a lot to talk about today. Uh, of course, this Inteca came out yesterday and I'm tempted to get this guy and actually use him in our weekend league squad as a box to box mid, like a basically a silver hullet. He is what he looks like, and all of you guys are telling me. So I think we're gonna try and unlock him today on the edited epi. We've got lots of division rivals, rewards, gameplay, etc. on the 8 a.m. epi. But what I was saying uh to the intro of the 8 a.m. epi, which you guys will see in a little bit, but I want to repeat here, is I actually don't think we're going to be spamming packs. We have a crazy amount of packs built up. We grinded 100 plus, 75 plus PPs. Uh, we've got 25, 30, maybe even 40, probably not, probably 25 or 30, I've, I've forgotten, but packs ready to go for tomorrow's new promo. I'm expecting something new. I wanted it to be like a Halloween style promo, yet I think even UEFA uh, and and everyone else has, has posted that it's going to be a second team for the Road to the Knockouts, which is fine. So Friday's Epis and the 6 p.m. and onwards and all the other stuff is going to be awesome, boys. We've got so many packs ready to go. So today... The 6 p.m. epi is going to be us consuming whatever content we got. There's so much potential content coming out. If you guys missed, I suppose, the stuff that came out yesterday, we've got the Rare Mega Pack, the Silver Stars, got a brand new Team of the Week, which doesn't look all that great. I'd love to be able to show you guys. Oh, hold on. Uh, the new Team of the Week. There it is. We'll show it real quick. I I'm sure if you care enough about the new Team of the Week, you'd have seen other content creators letting you know or, or giving you their opinions on it, whether it's Nep or Run the Fault Market or Zway or, 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 or whoever else. But there it is, not that exciting, and yet another reason why I want to hold all of my packs and my player pick packs and stuff like that until tomorrow. So, having said that, it is 6pm, let's see if we get any more gameplay content, I can't imagine, right, being that, yeah, there you go, we should be getting some sort of a new promo tomorrow. Uh, anything in terms of milestones? No. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, spoiler, I did see it via Twitter, but, oh, uncanny. Uncanny. <laughs> I was just about to say, spoiler, the guy I wanted to win, the La Le uh, League and Player of the Month, did win the Player of the Month. That is crazy. And there he is. I didn't think, I thought maybe they'd release him like tonight. You know how they release them or basically tomorrow at 3 p.m. UK or whatever? So they release them at 6 p.m. That's kind of exciting. This guy looks insane as a box to box mid. Well, now that I said I wanted to use Inteka as the box to box mid, I think we got to craft this guy as our box to box mid. Now, I'm not going to rush through it. Got, as I mentioned for tomorrow, so many packs and peepees and things going. So whatever his cost, we will 100% craft him, but we're going to craft him tomorrow during the grind, right? No man left behind onwards and onwards and onwards. But in terms of a card, does he not look, I, I was looking at his base card and just begging that he would win player of the month because look at how good he is. High, high, four star weak foot, six, one. And now with the boosted stats, dear God. Don't get mad at me. I'm so sorry for saying this, but can you imagine how nuts this guy will be on a engine chem style? Seriously. 85 balance with the engine chem style, 86 agility, 95 dribbling, 89 sprint speed, 86 acceleration, 96 long passing, 97 short passing, 90 or 95 vision. This guy might be the best box to box mid in the game right now outside of the, you know, the rich dogs going with a rude hullet or something like that. Absolutely going to get him. So let's see what his actual cost is here before we get into marquee matchups. Okay, well, that's already not cheap. Inform 83 rated 80 chem. Okay. The game froze again. Why does this happen every time at, for the 6 p.m. epis? Anytime I click into an SBC, the game freezes. What What is uh, what is that about? Do you guys have that anytime you click into a, a newly released SBC for 6 p.m. content? No? Okay, anyways, I, that's weird. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's like my PS5 is glitched or something, but all good. What I'm actually excited about here, having to restart the game, is I want to see, is there any sneak peeks? Rule breaker sneak peeks for tomorrow, or, you know, Halloween Scream promo, promo, or indeed Road to the Knockouts Team 2. I genuinely thought that was a Dortmund kit, that they still had Pulisic in by accident. That's crazy. I didn't realize Chelsea had that kit. Um. All right, let's see. Any sneak peeks about anything coming tomorrow? Please, God, don't let it... No, nothing, hey? Oh, oh no, oh my God. That's just the explanation for it. I'm an idiot. I apologize. 
Oh, you know when you're just a dumbest stupid and then you realize you're a dumbest stupid? Yep. So no silver players either in this new team of the week. Is there anybody I'd be excited about getting as a red pick? Bobby, Jude, of course. I wish they made Jude Bellingham or Ansu Fati the featured team of the weeks. Kind of weird. But that makes me think they didn't get a featured team of the week because the future stars is going to have them as the feature. Probably. I feel like they're trying to give different people featured team of the weeks. The, the, the likes of Bellingham and Ansu Fati are going to get crazy special cards as the year goes on. So if you're upset that they didn't get a featured team of the week, I feel like that's probably why. Let's go back to... Wait, where do I need to go here? Uh, squad builders. Okay, sorry about that, boys. So, you need, for a premium gold pack, an 83 rated inform, 84 rated inform, oof, 85 rated squad, and 86 rated squad. Dude, you know what, though? Again, I, I don't, are any, is anybody going to say this isn't worthwhile, though? Looks really good. Fatty isn't going to get a future star. He got one last year. Oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't mean he won't get like a Fut Freeze card or something like that. I just think players that all of us really want and like, like a, B a Bellingham and a Fati, are going to get special cards. I, I did make the mistake of saying uh, future stars, but I feel like you you, you kind of get what I'm saying there. Um, so in terms of marquee matchups, oh, EA, you sneaky, sneaky batches. Look at that, boys. Look at that. The first team which would have boomed the price of Air Divisie bronzes, minimum silver requirement. Now that's okay, right? It doesn't really matter. We do the bronze upgrade packs. I probably have a f like 30 to 40 silver um, uh, uh, Air Divisie players. So that's not a big deal. If I want to be lazy, I can just do it that way. I, the amount of SBCs I complete with just untradeable silvers and one or two 82 or 83 rated players that are all discard price anyways is great. And I'm sure most of you guys are doing that now too if you're smart with the SBCs. Yeah, the UCL crap is so silly. But anyways, we know it's a rare. Uh, league and player minimum two. 70 overall rating. So this isn't bad. This should still benefit the BPM grind. Gold players minimum three. So once again, the, if there's a minimum three, what I would do is you put in the cheap 81 to 82 rated guys in there. Do it while you're grinding. You don't need to rush through these marquee matchups now. While you're grinding, once you get a dupe bronze or silver or whatever, then you can put them into here. But this is really good. This is really good for the BPM and really good for the silver upgrades. This is just good for the silver upgrades, but still good for the poor man road to glory grinder out there. So I'm actually pretty hyped about these. Mixed player pack is terrible. Premium mixed pack is not bad. You never know with, with, your, with pack luck, right? Small prime. This is a solid. This is a good, good pack. 72 as well with only five gold minimums again use 82s 83s that are discard price here formulate the squad relatively easily maybe use a a roma or napoli player uh, maybe two or three more league and players and then just throw your bronzes into this you guys are trying to tell me that the bpm is getting killed no just be half intelligent use some high rated golds and then you can use your bpms or your even your low rated untradeable silvers this is fantastic so far especially for a small prime and then, of course, you can't be surprised that the last one is 75 rated. Again, how many times have you seen me build a team, though, with four 82s and 83s and then the rest low rated silvers? So this is still chill. For a prime mix, that's solid. Barca Real. Yeah. I can't really see too many players going up in price. Potentially Barca Real players. Potentially Roma Napoli players. But I don't really see too much player prices going up here unless you guys are seeing something I'm not seeing. But I, I like it. I actually like the uh, marquee matchups. I think it's still good for the BPM grinders. And then what's the reward for it? Where did it go? Here it is. Uh, rare Electrum Pack. And it's all tradable too. I was actually worried that they'd make marquee matchups untradable. So, so far the fact that they're tradable is a W for all types of Road to Glory. So I, I do like that. And uh, do we got anything else that I may have missed since yesterday? No, I did these, uh, you know, the Rare Mega Pack and stuff like that. I just logged on my phone yesterday and did it very easy, by the way. Very, very easy to do. I, I did. I used mainly silvers. And then two or three high-rated Spanish players. The rest silvers from all the off leagues. All untradeable anyways. I haven't really looked at my club. I know Nep and a bunch of people are making a lot of coins on main nation off league players. Bronze, silver, or even golds. But yeah, I don't... Um, I, I didn't really do too much searching through my club. Maybe I should do that. So in terms of content, is that where we are, boys? Uh, I'm. What happened? I'm recording. That's okay. Um, Steph's trying to have a chit chat about about life. 
Um, yeah, so I think that's good, boys. In terms of the grind, I know it's not going to be a crazy long 6 p.m. epi, but you guys got my opinions on things. And just know that come tomorrow, well, the next episode is going to be all gameplay. So it's up to you if you don't want to watch my videos for the next day or two. Next epi is going to be all gameplay, just Division Rivals grind, Silver Lounge grind, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, then Friday is where the pack spamming begins. God bless. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.